Hello, hello, my friends. I have another dedicated candle review for you today. We are going to be talking about Bath and Body Works Ocean and Vanilla Bean. Now, this is one of the blend or mashup candles that was created for the summer 2024 semi annual sale. And if you are like me, well, in fact, I'm hearing a lot of other people here um, on social media talk about how this one has caught them by surprise. This is a fragrance blend that a lot of people, I think when they saw the sneak peeks or the leaks for what fragrances were going to be offered in the summer blend collection, a lot of people thought that this would be an odd pairing and kind of maybe wrote it off. At least I know that I did. However, when they went into the store or when I went into the store and smelled a lot of the blends, Truth be told, you guys, this was my favorite one. This was the only candle from the blends collection that I purchased when SAS started this weekend. So I have burned it enough now that I feel like I'm ready to give a review on it for all of you guys. So the fragrance notes on this candle are Blue Cypress, Coastal Air, Madagascar Vanilla Bean, and Warm Cinnamon Nutmeg. So this candle is in their standard three wick, 14 and a half ounce vessel. Um, this candle does retail, I believe for $24.95, somewhere around that. At the, uh, at the time that I am filming this candle, it is currently 50% off. So I think I saw it listed on the Bath and Body Works website for $12.97. Um, so be aware of that, you guys, if you are planning to purchase candles from this collection and if they don't work out for you and you want to go in and exchange them just be aware that there might might be a price difference between them and some of the other like more standard $26 price point candles all right you guys what does my nose smell on this um I actually really like this fragrance you guys not enough that I feel like I need backups and backups of it but I do think that this is a nice fragrance blend, especially for the summertime. I do get the uh, Cypress and Coastal Air vibe that you do get from the Ocean fragrance. However, it mixes really nicely with the Vanilla Bean fragrance. I am somebody who loves the way that Bath & Body Works tends to do vanilla fragrances. I do like their regular vanilla bean fragrance. Um, it's a vanilla that almost smells slightly like a marshmallow to my nose. Um, cinnamon and nutmeg are not necessarily like what my nose would recognize those spices to be. It's not overly spicy, um, but there is something about it that um, it, there's a warmth to the candle. Uh, I'm talking about regular like vanilla bean, but it does kind of remind me of like a gooey marshmallow. Um, it's a nice fragrance. I really, really enjoy it. I had it earlier this year and unfortunately it developed puny wicks on me. And then of course, anytime I get puny wicks that sometimes alters the fragrance because it just like gets, I don't know, the wax gets sooty and it's yucky. Um, but so far, you guys, I am not having that experience at all. I think that this blends really, really nicely. Um, if you go into the store and you sniff this one, I would say that what you're smelling on cold sniff is pretty accurate to what you're going to be smelling when it burns. I know sometimes candles, when you light them up, they can transform a little bit. But I will tell you that my experience here definitely gets the warmth of vanilla bean uh, very well balanced out with some of that like cypress sea air. Um, very nice. It's not overly cologne-like. It's not overly um, traditionally masculine type of fragrance. It's kind of light and airy, um, but but still like fresh. Uh, it's kind of a hard way to describe it here, but I feel like I don't really need to go into depth too much in describing this scent because a lot of you guys who are watching this probably have been in Bath and Body Works probably more than once <laughs> at this point since SAS started. So I will say that if you like it in store, then yes, the fragrance that, that you're going to get in store is what you're going to get when you are burning it. Let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle. So you can see right now that I'm getting some pretty good flames on it. They're not like flamethrowers. It's not sooting. Um, I would say that the, this is like a good like medium, I would say like medium sized burn on it. The wicks are not dudding out on me, which was honestly my concern because if you caught my, uh, what is that whipped coconut milkshake review that I posted earlier this week, I did tell you that that candle, unfortunately, developed puny wicks on me. Now I do know that there are some within the candle community who 
don't like it when I say that a candle has puny wicks, not just me, but any reviewer says that a candle has puny wicks because they mean, no, that just means that it's a slow burn. And while I understand that train of thought in my home, when candles develop those white tips, um, you guys all know what I'm talking about when the wicks are lit. Um, when I start to see that, I know that that candle is going to burn so slowly that now it's going to just kind of take on a burned sooty fragrance. And um, I don't want that. So um, I'm very happy to see that that has not been my experience. Also, the wax is staying really clean. I have not trimmed these wicks at all. I believe that these are self-trimming wicks. They're not getting those huge carbon balls. So if Bath & Body Works could use this wick style so far, so good, on more of their fragrances, wouldn't that be a great thing. I know that it's not just Bath and Body Works. It's actually all of the candle brands right now. They seem to be experimenting with their wicks too much. I wish that they would just leave a good thing alone, but alas, I am not the one making all of the decisions. All right, let's go ahead and talk about strength and throw on this one, because this is another one of those fragrances where I feel like the strength is different than the projection. So in terms of strength of this candle, I'm going to give it probably about a six in terms of like, if you're ranking this one to 10, it's medium strength. This is not going to bowl you over. This is going to be a fragrance that um, will not be headache inducing for anybody. If you have people coming into your home who are a little bit more sensitive to fragrance, I don't think that this one will bother them at all. Um, that being said, if you are somebody who likes a fragrance to smack you in the face, you are going to be disappointed that this one does not do that. Um, it's a pleasant fragrance. I do find myself going nose blind to it rather easily. Um, but I will tell you that like, if I leave the room and I come back into it, I do, I do smell it. Um, it, it's just that like, it's not a fragrance that you're going to be sitting in the room for a long time. And then you're going to sniff the air and you might think like, oh, am I smelling anything anymore? That's kind of like how I, I would describe, um, how I would describe the ability of like going nose blind to a fragrance. And that's why I say like, for me personally, I acknowledge it and I can smell it when I walk into the room and I can smell it for about five minutes. But after that period of time, I kind of really have to take some good sniffs in the air to be like, am I still smelling this? It's just not one that's a very, very strong fragrance. However, I will tell you that the throw or the projection on this candle, especially the longer that you burn it, is actually pretty good. Um, so I have listed in the description box down below my home layout, um, ambient temperature, all of those things are listed in the description box down below for you. So that way you can kind of gauge if we have similar style of home or whatnot. Um, those factors do play in to any reviewer's assessment of how well a candle is performing. And also, if you are new to the home fragrance community, if you're new to burning candles, some of you may ask, what is the difference between strength and throw? So strength is, to, to me, the way that I gauge it is how how um, strong, it, I mean, well, how strong is the fragrance? Is it something that I'm like, wow, like, if I'm in this room for too long, is this going to give me a headache? That would be a really, really strong fragrance. But a weak fragrance would obviously be one that I walk in and I'm like, if I, if I have to stand right over it, um, or not actually necessarily that way, but like some candles just, I don't feel like I need to really go on and on, I guess, about strength because I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory. The throw or the projection is how far away can I smell this candle from where it is burning. So if I'm having to stand right over it and smell it, it's a low throw. So it may be a strong smell, but if I can only smell it strongly within a five foot radius, that's a pretty weak throw in my opinion. Now in my home, and the reason that I'm going to give this one a throw of about an eight is because I actually had some errands to run yesterday. I did still have people at home while um, I left this candle burning and I came back, this candle had been burning for about four hours. When I returned home, I walked in through my garage door, which was on the opposite side of the living room. And I could instantly smell this candle. Again, it didn't smack me in the face, but it was a very pleasant scent that I was like, okay, I can smell it there. I could still smell it in the kitchen. It was throwing into my kitchen. So for me personally, I'll give a candle a throw of about an eight if I can smell it throughout my open concept living room and 
um, kitchen. That being said, once I walked into the bedrooms on the outliers of the house, I didn't smell it anymore. So um, it's also a candle that it doesn't throw like that initially. So I feel like you have to be about two hours into the burn for it to really kind of fill up larger rooms. Um, but it's probably not going to do that for you within the first 30 minutes. Also, um, this candle, I have not even attempted burning it in a hurricane yet. Um, I will talk about that this weekend, that I have kind of moved away for the summertime from burning my candles in hurricanes. And that is really more so a personal decision for me um, because I live in Arizona. It's very hot here. And um, even the internal temperature of my home is probably quite a bit warmer than a lot of people keep their home in the summertime. But I will touch on that this weekend in my candle chat video. So overall, would I recommend this candle? Yes, I would. I wouldn't spend the $24.95, but honestly, I feel like if you're watching this video, you wouldn't either. You wouldn't pay full price for any Bath & Body Works candles. Um, this candle I did purchase for $10.95, but like I said, right now it's on sale for 50% off. If you have coupons, um, then you're going to be getting the price down pretty low around that $10 mark. I feel like for $10 on this candle, um, 10 to $12, you're going to be getting what you expect from it. So yes, for those reasons, I would go ahead and give it two thumbs up. Am I going to purchase backups of it? No, it's not really backup worthy, but again, you guys, I'm in a position where, um, because I have a YouTube channel here where I review candle content in an effort to keep my candle collection a little bit more manageable, I typically only repurchase fragrances that I absolutely 100% love and, um, would just want in my collection, even if I did not have a YouTube channel. So that's kind of how I gauge it. But let me know in the comment box down below what your experience has been with this candle. Is this one that um, you are experiencing similar things? Or if you're experiencing something completely different, please chime in down below as well. As long as you remain respectful of myself and others, I always encourage dialogue going on because those of us who review candles um, on social media platforms, we are just one part of the community. You don't have to have a platform to have a voice in um, sharing what's going on with your candle experiences. And trust me, you guys, I read the comment sections on a lot of reviews and that helps me determine what I want to purchase as well. So anyways, I would encourage you to leave your feedback down below as well. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I love to talk all things candles here on my channel. I do dedicated reviews like this, hauls, empties, and a lot of other fun candle content in between. So if you like to talk about candles, I think you'll like it here on my channel. And I would love it if you hit that subscribe button before you get on out of here. I do want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.